come with me. So how exactly did you get into ministry? Well, I started life as a church musician. I um, always wanted to be an organist, I think since I was the age of three. And then in college, study, uh, majored in music, went to grad school in church music, got a nice job at a big Lutheran church in Chicago as their music director, and then started getting the burning in the gut. They talk about as being called to preach in the pastoral ministry. And so after all of that preparation for music, my wife Christine and I, we started over in seminary to become Lutheran pastors. So this is my actual office. Bum, bum, bum. And you'll see why I'm not exactly in here. So you might notice some drop cloths on my bookshelves and filing cabinets and desk. This, this office has a water leaking problem. And uh, the church is in the process of getting bids to fix the roof so it won't leak into my office and everywhere else. So I'm actually working out of this office, which used to be our uh, other associate pastor's office, and uh, it was vacant, so perfect for me um, to use. And um, the coolest thing about being a pastor is telling people good news, which we believe is the best news about Jesus and the life he offers and the liberation he offers. Um, but people depend on clergy for lots more than that, including uh, sort of being caretakers of their lives, especially at stressful times. And pastors are often called upon to offer comfort, pastoral care and presence during um, serious crisis or trauma, um, illness, the loss of people they love. And um, so, that, can, that work can uh, come in waves. Um, it can come all at once, or you can spend months without it. Uh, now, the other thing clergy do is preach and teach the Bible. Uh, for most of us, that's a lot of fun. Uh, we, we love doing the work, the exegesis, uh, and channeling that into expressions of faith and guidance uh, that are the sermon. So, um, is being a pastor all, you know, glamour and only working on Sunday? Glamour is such a uh, wonderful choice of words to apply to being clergy. Um, so it's, no, it's not all about Sunday and Bibles and hymns and pastoral care. Sometimes there's some pretty uh, routine maintenance that needs to be done. Like the day I was called over to the Child Care Development Center uh, to fix their door locks. Uh, there was a day I went up on the roof to unclog the gutters uh, because the roof was flooding and um, do some cooking, uh, do some carrying of tables and chairs and boxes because I am actually the only guy on staff in this church so often I'm asked to, to lift and move them. I kind of enjoy that part. Um, and. Uh, uh, get to meet with my Lutheran men's group and uh, have all kinds of great stories. Often that involves cooking and of course eating. I spend a lot of time with the uh, children at our preschool and I do chapel with them but I also uh, spend a couple of hours on Thursdays with various classes uh, just being present, interacting, make a lot of sandcastles, push a lot of kids in swings, then there's, of course, the Ministry of Call. One of our great resources for Ministry of Incarnation is our magnificent bun coffee maker. And that doesn't smell too old. <laughs> 